What is up my little baby internet land? I'm Lynn. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, holy Nicole. My guys, we need to talk about Kate Middleton. Like, for realsies. Okay, so has, has no one ever known anyone who has had cancer treatment before? Um, chemo is, well, chemo is a beast. Um, there is this one person I knew, right? He was going through cancer treatment. He was like, now with somebody I related to in a lot of ways because he, every job he ever had, he was like, just good at it. Just like great, like picked it up quickly, just great, right? He told me he was a jack of all trades, a master of none. I'm pretty sure he had ADHD, yeah. Um, but this was, this was long ago. And, People in his time, they, they didn't get diagnosed with things like that. Um, anyway, told me that this was the first job he ever had that he was no good at. It's like being sick, getting treatment for cancer, like just the whole thing. Like, okay, so I was watching a Petal Palmer video yesterday. Oddly timed, of course, because she was talking about her journey with cancer and how she um, <laughs> thought she could do things one day after chemo. And they were like, "You just, you just need to go home and rest, honey. Just go home and rest, right?" And so she, she doesn't. Um, she goes out to her college, deals with her professor, does like a whole test or something. Um, goes out and does some other things, finally gets home, goes to sleep, wakes up in the middle of the night, feels horrible. Absolutely horrible, right? Because you're supposed to go and you get your, your treatments and you go home and you rest, right? See, here's the deal with Kate. She goes home and she rests and she is part of one of the most involved seeming parents in the royal family so far. She's got three kids that they, they come home from school, right? And I'm sure they're like bounding with energy, wanting to make sure mom is okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, I don't, I don't know a lot of kids, is it that obvious? Um, but yeah, like, she saves up her energy for her family. And just, chemo is rough. Look, I know that Princess of Wales is like this job title that doesn't come with a lot of privacy. Um, never has. Um, see, precedent. Um, yeah, uh, words, hashtag words. Um, but like, let the girl rest. Let the girl recover from her preventative chemotherapy because even if it's preventative, chemotherapy is still chemotherapy. And it sucks, okay? It sucks. Also, there was another rumor about her being spotted in Houston. Do y'all do y'all think she's going to like MD Anderson or something? No. I'm sorry, sweetie, but it, she's part of the royal family. If they want someone from MD Anderson, they will fly them to England. They'll fly the whole team if they have to. I'm not, I don't see that being past them. But like, yeah, like she's sick, okay? She's got appointments out the wazoo that she has to go to. She's got kids that she deals with when they come home. And I mean, sure that they've got nannies and stuff like that, but if your parent is sick, are you gonna settle with just like going to hang out with your nanny all night? Or are you gonna be like right up by your mom's side? Cause I think you're gonna be right up by your mom's side. At least um, some of the kids I've seen are like that when their parents are sick. Okay, but like, give the lady a break. She is recovering from preventative chemotherapy, which, like I said earlier, still chemotherapy. Still sucks ass. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, 
Let the girl rest. Let the girl deal with her family. I know there was a report that came out that said she's not going to be in the same role that she was before, but like, you've got to understand, once somebody hears the word cancer from a doctor and they do that whole chemotherapy thing, um, well, their priorities change. I would be shocked if she were to come back in the same role that she was in before. She was like a super hardworking royal and, you know, she is a recovering chemotherapy patient now. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think she's going to have the same energy as she did before, you know? I, th I think she's going to have different priorities than she had before. She's not going to be wanting to spend as much time out on, you know, trips and things away from her family. And who could blame her? But, like, just because she's not coming back to the same role doesn't mean she won't be coming back to a role. It's just not going to be the same Princess of Wales that we have... Come to know recently. That job title, it comes with a lot, you guys. It comes with so much. Like, no privacy. Everybody feels like they are entitled to know every detail about your life because you're part of a family that is paid for by the Dutch. Like, come on guys, just because they're public figures doesn't mean they have to know every single detail about their lives. Really doesn't, okay? They're allowed to have a private life. She's allowed to be sick. And she needs to be allowed to heal. I understand that the king had his cancer diagnosis and he had surgery and he was right back at it. But the king didn't go through chemotherapy. The king had surgery. They removed a mask and he went on with his life. Princess of Wales had preventative chemotherapy. She showed up, she had them plug whatever IV into the port and pump really icky stuff into her body. Um, I, I don't know what chemotherapy is, is comprised of or made up of. I know it's, it's different than the radiation treatment, but it's like the injectable one and, and it's, it's, it's a lot of things. Um, People get cold when they're doing it. You have to have the full packs around them. You know, I, some people get through chemotherapy like a beast. There's this little lady I know who, she, aside from the whole like side effects of losing her hair, you wouldn't even know she was in cancer treatment. But it's not as easy for everyone. It's not even close to as easy for everyone. Chemotherapy is hard. And when you've gotta go home to like three kids, it's gotta be that much harder. Cut her some slack. There's no way she's coming back in the same role that she was in before. And I'm sorry, that's just not how, that's not how cancer works, guys. It's not. She's gonna come back and she's gonna be different. And like, that's not any fault of hers. That's just, people are different after they have cancer treatment. It puts your mortality into perspective in a way that most other 40 year olds don't have to face, right? Give her a break. Let her get through her treatment. When the medical team says she can come back, I am sure she will come back. But like, why are we back to obsessing over this again? 
she came out, she told us what the deal is, and the deal she told us is kind of sucky. And she needs space to like heal with her family. So we'll give her space. What's what's this obsession with her? Oh my god, she hasn't come back yet. Huh. Yeah, she went through cancer treatment. Is possibly still going through cancer treatment. I don't know her schedule, okay? Like, give her a break. You know, if this gets to be a too big of a deal, the royal family is going to end up throwing her under the bus again, right? That's what they do. Give her a break. Let's, let's put something else to obsess about for the next week. Please.